Peace to the family. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Yeah, this is going to be a good one today. This is Coach Kair. Please relax. Please breathe. Please pray. Please meditate. Please allow. Just relax. Take a nice inhale through the nose. Slow exhale out the mouth. Just relax. Don't even look at the screen right now. You've been doing something. You've been moving real fast. Just relax. Sure, you can share this with your followers on Twitter, on Facebook. Just relax for a second. Just slow down. Take a nice big inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Nice and slow. We move so fast every day, we forget a lot of times to just relax. All right? One more big inhale. And exhale. All right. <clears throat> My name is Coach Kair. Team Taurus, representing Atlanta, Georgia. Please let me know your zodiac sign, where you representing. Now, please, I want you to Swipe and invite, share with your family, share with your friends. I'm going to introduce you here on the left is Goddess Saraswati. Here in the middle is Goddess Lakshmi. And here to the right is Lord Ganesh. Lord Ganesh is the God of success, breakthroughs, Goddess of fortune, money and wealth. Goddess of the arts and sciences. All right. You often see this trilogy together. You see here the money. Ooh. You see the beauty, the arts, the sciences, the dance, all of that. And then the breakthroughs. Remove these blockages. That's Lord Ganesh. It's two smart women hanging with this elephant. They take very good care of him. Very good care of this elephant. He's adorned. Look how he's just blinged out. Look at the elephant that are just showering on them. Okay, now, I'm doing this one because a lot of women are always talking about money. Oh, excuse me. A lot of women are always talking about money, right? And, yes. And... I just got off the phone. This is an inspired video today. I just got finished talking to a sister and she wants she's wants to be conscious. She wants to be spiritual. She wants to um, get back to working with her altar. OK. And what I realize is a lot of women want to go back to work on their altar and dealing with the deities and the gods because of pain. Yeah, and it's normally financial. You normally see a woman very interested in spirituality sometimes when her pockets are getting short. Yes, her pockets are getting short. And then welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome everyone who's listening in. Please swipe and invite. And this woman is, she's like, oh, I need to do a ritual to get my money right. Romance and finance is all people are really talking about when women come, they want to learn about they get into consciousness It's normally because of some pain motivated them to go there. Right. And whether it was sexual trauma or relationship went bad or whatever, they're ready to start getting conscious now, more spiritual. And then they start setting things up. The money start coming and then they go away from their offerings and their spirit. Right. And 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 doing the work. And I say, well. I relate this to how can your spiritual parents help you if you don't feed them? I always I'm, I'm big on feeding your ancestors, feeding the gods. But one thing I'm really big on is if you make a deal with the gods, you can't just intend to do it and then I'll get to it later. It doesn't work like that because. The gods remember what you promised, right? 
But here, you know, like in just, um, you know, in this physical world, we're so used to people making us promises and not coming through. So we do that often and we just be like, you know what? I'm going to just go ahead and make, make a promise to somebody and um, I'm not going to come through. <laughs> and what's that look like? It doesn't work like that with the gods. It doesn't work like that. You have to honor and keep your word and have integrity. And you can't just get an attitude and get pissed off and be like, well, I just ain't going to do it no more. Because now you're not practicing. Now you're not being consistent. And they're looking at you saying, well, I can't help you. You can't keep your word. I can't help you. Simple. So a sister who I was just talking to, she says, Kair, I intend. I don't feed them every day. You know, I give them some fruit every now and then. I burn an incense sometimes. And, and sometimes I light my candles. I said, you intend. You intend. I said, what about your daughter? Do you intend? How, can, can, can you feed your daughter incense? Can you feed your daughter um, crystals? Can you feed your daughter fruit sometimes? Now, I had this conversation. This is, this is for, for people who know. If you know you're supposed to feed your altar. But here's the other part. She halfway studies. One thing that's critical, and I'm going to talk about tonight on my radio program, tonight at 9 o'clock on Blog Talk Radio. That's right, blogtalkradio.com forward slash Kair, K-H-A-Y-R, tonight at 9 o'clock. Somebody type that in there for me, please. 9 p.m. Eastern is you need to be finding a teacher or a guide, right, that you are consistently studying with, right? You have to consistently study with that teacher because if you don't and you just hop in, hop out every now and then, then when you hop in one time, you're going to read one thing and think you got the message, but something before that and something after that tied it all together. So this person went and heard a teacher say, you should give meat to your ancestors. That's all she heard. But what the teacher actually said was at least once a week, you should cook some meat for your ancestors. So she says, I don't eat meat. I'm a vegetarian. So my ancestors haven't been getting anything. I said, not even the vegetables and the rice that you eat every day. You eat vegetables every day. If you're not eating meat, then what you eating? You got to eat something because you on the phone. You got to be working somewhere because your bills are paid. I was like, wow. So you're not giving them anything because you heard that, well, you must feed them meat. So since I don't eat meat, I don't feed them. Some women are really big on excuses as their escapes. Men too, men too. But this video is not about men because men aren't as spiritual as women are. Not on the average, they aren't. And they don't have the skill set either. And they don't have the natural intuitive ability. So I'm making this video for those who have the natural intuitive ability more than men. I'm giving it to the ones who work it. You're the one supposed to be teaching us. Right. So then she says, well, I intend through my crystals to. I said, you intend your intentions. When do you get. But when do you follow through on your intentions? And the example was if your if your job paid you in January and didn't pay you in February, and didn't pay you in March, and April came around, and you say, where's my money? And they say, well, I paid you in January. I paid you in January. That's how a lot of people look at spirituality. They look at it and say, well, I already gave them something one time. I gave my ancestors something already, but you know, I already gave it to them. Can you make it off of one check? But you went to work January, February, March, April, but they only paid you for January. So when you came in April and say, where's my money? They said, well, I paid you in January. You should be straight. You know, the energy of that offering that I gave you in January, you should be good with that. You cannot make it. You can't make it off of that. And the ancestors ain't going to make it off of that. And they're going to move on and, and go until you court them. You have to court the ancestors, right? You got to court them. You got to court them and be like, yo, here's groceries. Where's where's real groceries? Let me look. 
these bananas, they getting ready to get switched out. When they got, they got on here when they were green. So like I got a timetable on the altar, right? These bananas, right, they're going to come off of here very shortly because they're beginning to age. Yes, you can have more than one teacher. But you can't only have, but you only need one. You only need one. Yes, you only need one though. This pineapple was super green when I put it up here. It's about to come off. These apples have lasted a long time, but it's about time for them to be changed too. And then the primary offering, this is food that I eat. This is food that I eat right here. CoachKAstrology.info or you can just go to CoachKair.com if you need to get a consultation with Coach Kair. No problem. See the peanuts? He needs to, be, this is secondary offerings. He's going to get a new candle today. He likes cakes. All of this is getting ready to be freshened. But it stays fresh. It's not like, um, uh, oh man, you, 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 you have to, it's not like I can put this up here. This cake is about two weeks old. That's it. But he's getting ready to get another cake. Normally I leave a secondary offering up for like a month. But not bananas because bananas, as soon as they start to um, ripen, I got to switch them out. So I'm already always on the look for green bananas because I, I don't even eat bananas like that. I really don't eat. My, if my roommate makes some oatmeal and puts some bananas in it, then I eat it. But otherwise, I, I give bananas to Ganesha, right? I do eat pineapples, right? So he eats what I eat. I don't eat oranges and I don't eat apples. So, don't, so, so when you say, well, I don't eat that, I ain't going to give it to him. I'm allergic to nuts. See that? I'm allergic to nuts. <laughs> that don't mean he got a joint full of nuts. Cause he, he, that's what he likes. If he want coconut, if that's what he wanted, but coconut, because I had his altar, it won't like, it'll take up too much room. So I would give him coconut if that's what he wanted, but he likes sweet things. Ganesha likes sweet things, right? So, but you can't go and be inconsistent but this whole thing is about the problems that people have in their life. The problem that people have in their life is normally because they, the problems is because you come and you want a part time. You're always wanting to do emergency magic. You're always wanting to do some sorcery around money and relationships, but you ain't working on your basic fundamentals. If you work on your basics and you work on your fundamentals, then you'll have something all the time. You don't have to be coming to do emergency magic. Who wants to keep doing emergency magic all the time? I need to do a ritual to get this bill paid. I need to do a ritual to get this man to like me. I need to do a ritual to see if this person's cheating on me. What about you making the fundamental changes between you and your spiritual life? All these gods are in me. This is me honoring myself. So this is an exercise for me honoring myself. And there is no emergency. These emergencies that we, people and, and women. Your sister called me, too, because she was like, Kaya, you know, I'm looking for a job. If I can use you for a reference, because she's done some work for me um, on my website and with my um, with my auto responders and things like that. And that's a job she's in digital, digital virtual assistant. So, sure, I don't have a problem with that. But why are you in a crux? And now you want to say, well, what one book should I read or what um, what ritual can I do? Why are you in this state? Well, I got to I feel all the way off from my offerings. And she's coming up with all these things she could do financially to make money. But she's stressed out. She don't meditate. I said, you know what? That idea that you're talking about that you got out there in the garage. I said, you don't meditate enough. First thing you do is get stressed out and stop and quit when the money don't come. And that's the problem. These guys recognize that you only come into them for a temporary fix. You only come into them for a temporary fix. So just imagine a man coming to you, telling you he loves you just to have sex with you. Then after he has sex with you, you don't hear from him for two, three, four months. And you say he used me. It's, you women are doing the same thing. Men too. But I'm talking about men don't spend money on rituals like women do. I'm just being honest. I'm just keeping it 1,000. And then when it starts to work for you, you don't dig deep enough. Dig deep enough. Stop trying to do all this emergency magic. 
Quit trying to do all this emergency magic all the time. Ah! This has been a public service announcement <laughs> from Kair, Coach Kair, and the gods. Now, I want you just to relax for a second before I got you. I got you all worked up right now. So I want you to take a nice big inhale. Nice big exhale. Slow. Slow inhale. Slow exhale. One more time. Big inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth real slow. We're going to open your eyes very slowly. Yeah. And just relax and release. Release all the stuff that you've been doing. Release all the stress and fill your cup with new things. Or just have an empty cup for a second and just relax. All right? This is Coach Kair. I'm going to holler at you. Oh, and I got more of this for you coming real soon. Peace.